This video is about the new prompts feature in Angular CLI. You can see the new prompts when you use Angular CLI to create a project. The new prompts allow you to customize how the project is generated. Before we take a look at prompts, we need to check for the right version of Angular CLI. And we can do that with this command here. This is going to take a look at um, the version of Angular CLI that was installed globally under Node. Okay, so we see here that it's 713. Of course, the other way that you can do this is just by doing ng dash dash version. This is going to give you the information again about how it was um, uh, about the version and about versions of related packages. Now, if you need to install Angular CLI, just say it wasn't installed yet, you can install it using this command here. Okay, npm install dash g at angular slash CLI at latest. Now, if you uh, already have a version of Angular CLI, then what you want to do is uninstall the one that you have using npm uninstall dash g ang at Angular CLI to uninstall it before you use that install command that we just showed you. Now let's try to create a new project. We do that with the ng-new command, uh, what's called the, the app that we're creating, my app. Okay. By default, this command here is going to create seed files, and then it's going to run npm install to install dependencies. Now, for now, we just want to see which files would have been created, so we're going to add the dry run flag. Uh, this will run the whole command. It just won't save any files. Okay, when we run that, the first thing that we see is the first prompt. So this is the feature that we're talking about. Uh, this prompt would have been added to the schematic, and that's why it shows up here, the schematic for the new, ng new command. Uh, would you like to add Angular routing? And we're going to say yes. Yes, uh, the default is no. And here, which style sheet format would you like to use? Okay, And you can use the arrows, up, down, arrows to choose. We're going to choose SAS and hit Enter. Okay, When it does that, it's then going to show you all the files it has created. Okay. One of those files is going to have to do with routing, and that's going to be this one down here, the app routing module. So that was created to support routing. Uh, then there was this one here, app component.sass, which is where you would put your CSS uh, style um, uh, commands uh, that you want to apply to that particular component. Now, it's also possible to run this command unattended, which means that it wouldn't show the prompts. And there's two ways that we can do that. One way is to actually provide for the prompts um, on the command line. Okay, so ng new my app, but now we're going to say dash dash style equals sass and dash dash routing equals true. And again, we'll just add dry run. And you should see that now it goes immediately to creating the files or listing the files uh, rather than prompting. Okay. There's one other way you can do this, which means to, uh, to, to use it without prompts. And that would be by just going in here and saying dash dash defaults. Okay. And again, it's just going to go... Uh, it's not going to ask for the prompts. It's just going to go and and uh, create the files. Okay. So that's about it. Um, in this video, we've looked at um, CLI prompts as part of the ng-new command. Right? Prompts can be added to other Angular CLI commands as well um, by using the xprompt property of the associated schematic.
This video is produced by WebH Solutions. We provide on-site and virtual training on a variety of technical topics, and you can find us at webhsolutions.com on the web.